think I can hear thunder on the horizon. The lightning is striking really close to the van. It wouldn't hit the van though. There's so much other stuff around there that it would hit before it hit you. Good morning. Today is Sunday. I thought I would film a day in the life vlog today. We've just woken up, well, not just woken up. We've been awake for a while, sorting out the van, sorting ourselves out, having breakfast and stuff. And we've just spent our fourth night in one place. We're in the town called Mukundas, and this is in Wales. And we really loved being here. It's like a really nice, chilled town with a big park area that we've just been spending time in with the dogs in the shade because we've just had a heat wave. It's been getting up to like 28, 29 degrees. So that's pretty hot for Wales. So yeah, it's been a challenge to keep the dogs cool and stop sweltering in the van. It's still quite a hot muggy day today. It's not gonna be as sunny, but it was really good to stay in one place. This town's really welcoming. There are other vans here. So you don't really feel like you're in anyone's way. I just haven't felt that judgment that I felt in other places when you're living in a van. And there's like a community growing space in the park just there and like really big, lovely trees. And yeah, it's just had a really nice feel this town. But we're about to head off because we don't have any water left in our water tank. So we need to go fill up. And there's a campsite not too far away that we've read some reviews and we're hoping are true that you can fill up your water, dump your waste for five pounds hopefully that is still true getting water is one of our biggest struggles in the uk there's not many places you can get water after that we're gonna have a nice day in the midst of that i'll be doing a bit of work and uh yeah should be a nice sunday If you need to chuck any chemicals out in here, any gray water, water pour it on the gravel here because they've got reed beds underneath it so it just soaks in. And drinking water should be available right in front of us. It's ready. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. Green. Every light I choose is bad. We just arrived at our next destination and the heavens have opened it's very rainy and dark which is actually quite nice because the heat has calmed down but it does mean that the van's very dark right now so we're just making some lunch craig's puts a packet of mixed grains on that has like uh spices in it and he's added butter beans and i'm going to chop some cucumber and some beetroot that we have we need to do a food shop, we don't have much. And also we need to do washing up. So we're using very limited supplies of things. We're chaotic. Mm. Well, it's a realistic day in van life. Mm. We feel accomplished because we have water now. Yeah, I'm gonna cut up all the veg with a butter knife because all of our other knives are dirty. We're 
disgusting. We've come to a visitor car park, which is free for 60 minutes. So we might just stay here for 60 minutes, see if we can eat lunch and walk the dogs and look around a little bit within the hour. Bit of cucumber for the boils. Beagle meaty, beagle quenching. Brother, eat your cucumber quenching. You don't want any. Quentin's got a sore eye today and he just seems quite forlorn as you can see and if it's bad tomorrow we're going to go to the vets oh, I don't like this one we're in a new location again we decided to just drive off after we had our lunch because the rain was not stopping. Um, instead, we've been to Aldi and we've got our weekly shop. Now we've arrived at the place we're gonna park overnight, which is right by a lake. Call cool, this purple loose strife. Hey, Craig. This is different. It's not. This is the it's just more established, isn't it? Oh, this is the stuff that... We used to grow it in our garden. Yeah. Yeah, and it's all over Isla. And the bees love it. later now it's now about half seven the day's really got away with me the van's tidy the dogs are tired so they're just like snoozing and craig's gone out to the pub he wants to catch like the atmosphere of being in wales when the welsh rugby team is playing in the world cup i think it's the world cup it's kind of nice i've got a bit of time to myself i've got some tonic and some ice as a little refreshment. There's a couple of vans that have started to arrive in this parking area. And I think I can hear thunder on the horizon. We are expecting thunderstorms. I don't know what to do about that in the van. I think when we were on Isla, we did have a storm, but we've never really been that close to lightning before. So if that starts happening and we're in like a tin can, it's constantly like juggling weather when you live in a van because you are so close to the elements. You can just spend the whole day in a house and not be affected by what's going on outside at all. Also, we rely on conditions outside because we have solar panels, which are where we get all of our energy from. I'm hoping that there's not gonna be any lightning near us tonight. We will see. We can always up and leave at any time. That's a good thing. I was just using a YouTube video to put on whilst I'm working my sketchbook because that is my routine. But um, I've been doing a lot of black and white drawings lately of bugs. This is my shield bug page. I hope, sorry about the lighting in here, it's, it's very dark. And I'm gonna finish this page, I think, because this is all of my crickets. I'm just really into bugs this summer. This is my weevil page. I love weevils. Also, I'm really loving my black pencil. <laughs> That's like the only thing I really reach for, or the main thing I really reach for in my pencil case. Who would have thought it? I just love a black pencil and I need to find an art shop actually. This is the size of my black pencil, so I do need to get a new one. The lightning is striking really close to the van. That was really scary. I just heard a huge bang. It sounded like a firework. Midge, poor Midge. He's a bit worried as well. It's okay, it's okay. Craig is um, coming back from the pub now. I don't know whether we should move the van or not. I don't know. I feel a bit exposed, a bit scared. Craig just texted to say he's hidden under an archway because he must be getting absolutely soaked out there right now.
Craig was just calling me. I can see the edge of the storm above me. Like the cloud is beautiful. There's a complete clear blue sky behind it. It's actually quite beautiful, to be honest. That they will use lead would have absolutely destroyed me. Yeah. I've been drowned in my tiny little Birkenstocks. Do you even have a waterproof coat on? No, I've got a t-shirt on. Oh. <laughs> and if like lightning was hitting round us, like I wouldn't be able to drive away, would I? It wouldn't hit the van though. It would hit, there's so much other stuff around there that it would hit before it hit you. Like, it, it, and the storm was, so, the storm's so big that it's not, it would hit churches and buildings in the town rather than, or trees around you, it wouldn't hit you. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait a couple of minutes and I'll walk back. Okay. I was also bashful when like someone's look, someone new mm. is looking in into the van. I'm like, oh god, it stinks! Oh god! No, it doesn't. It's <laughs> beautiful. Like all the little veg up here, and the bed and everything. The way it's at least set we up. did the washing up and yeah. and we made the bed. Yeah. So, and I swept and, and, and good, cleaned yeah. the surfaces. Really so uh, it's as back. fresh as it can be. Yeah. Still lightning. You can see out that window. I've never seen that much electricity in the sky. No. Nah. Me neither. We're gonna go to bed now. It's about 20 past 10, something like that. Lots of owls outside tonight. Craig said he could hear barn owls. They're not the typical ones that we hear. You often hear tawny owls calling out at night, but Craig could hear some really sinister screeching, screeching from across the woods. So that most likely is a barn owl or two. I hope you enjoyed this vlog following a typical day in my life at the moment which means that we don't really know what's going to happen in it and nothing is very typical thanks for watching and um leave me a comment let me know what you thought of this video and also some things you'd like to see on this channel going forward and um i'll see you very soon for another video good night <laughs>